If you don't know about something, it can be like having a door slammed in your face. But that's why I'm here. You didn't come here for story time though. So let's talk about this bay. Not this bay, this pie, display, or anything else. It's a Chinese company that makes incredible hobby supplies aimed at the gumbler market, which might be why you've never heard of them before. Gumbler tools are often pretty niche from a functionality point of view, but there's a lot of crossover to Warhammer, and some of them are excellent, as you'll see later. Let's start with a pen drill. But wait, I can hear you say, how is that a secret? Now I have a pin vise and I have a drum, and both have their place. The pin vise is really useful when you need to get going slowly for starting a hole or you just need to take a bit more care. Whereas the Dremel has power on its side and can be used for all sorts of things, not just drilling holes, but it's quite cumbersome to use. There are even other brands of pen drills out there, like the Wow Stick that Ninja recommends. But in the UK, the Wow Stick is 65 quid, whereas the sanding pen is under half the price. And it's red. Functionally, it's self-explanatory. It's got three speeds, all controlled by a little black button in the front. On the bottom is a USB-C charging port and a space for your Allen key, which also tightens two screws which act as a chuck. And that means I can always have a ready at hand. This bay make their own bits, but actually I didn't buy any as I already have some and I'm quite cheap. But I actually regret this and will probably be buying some soon. But for now, the normal drill bits bulked out with a stick from a Q-tip work well enough. I grabbed mine from AliExpress, but it did take over a month to get it. If you're desperate, you can grab it from Amazon, which costs about 45 quid the last time I checked. If you want to grab it yourself, I've popped links to this and all the products featured in this video down in the description below. Next up is another electronic gadget, but this one's a little strange. It costs under 25 pounds. Any ideas? I'm sure you've seen Vortex mixers lab grade liquid shakers where you hold your paints to the top of a vibrating rubber paint to agitate the paints back to life. Well this works slightly differently. Much like an anti-James Bond, these things are stirred, not shaken. There's a rotating magnet in the base which when you drop in one of their stirring sticks into your paint, whizzes the paint round and round, stirring up all the pigment. Now, I will say it's more limited than a Vortex, for example if you've got odd shaped paint pots or very narrow paint pots like the ones by Vallejo or Scale 75, you'll have to cut down the stirring rods and to be honest for thicker paints they aren't really strong enough, but they are brilliant if you use lots of things like inks or enamels or specialist paints like deep down effects where stirring is really important. The absolute best thing about this thing though is that it's completely hands free. Pop your paint onto the stirrer. The magnets hold it in place and it's touch sensitive, so turn it on and it will just sit there, stirring until you turn it off. It works really well. Now it's time to show off the most underwhelming gadget. Except it's not! I mean, it is. They're sanding pads. But they're still cool! Bear with me. Sanding sticks have been one of my go-to hobby tools forever, and these one up them by a mile. These sanding pads come in a box of 25 sheets with five individually labelled gel pads. Now, they cost £12, which is a lot, but they are so much better to use. There's a variety of grits, everything from 80 grit to 3000 grit depending on which set you buy, and you can use that to either sand or polish the surfaces of what you're applying to. Each gel pad is grippy, simple to hold and best of all conforms to almost any shape, although they're particularly good at large rounded shapes, like space marine pauldrons. I know, I know, how excited can you get over some sanding pads, but honestly I despise building, so anything that makes that process more fun is an absolute win for me. These are just fun to play with, full stop. Now the last one in this list is also the most expensive, they're STA 3.0 single blade nippers and they're probably the best nippers I have ever used. They come in a sweet little presentation box and they're covered by a little leather pouch and they are so sharp and so precise that you could literally use them to remove mold lines. I like to talk about tools being the right tool for the right job and if ever there was a tool to remove tiny little bits of plastic from sprues this is it. Now, I don't think there's anything worse than when creators have hugely long outros, especially on product review videos. But I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel over the last month, 
particularly those of you who have supported me on Patreon or have joined in conversations over on my Discord. You know who you are. As ever, the best way to support creators like me or others like me is to watch their videos all the way through to the end, click on the links and watch another one straight away. That lets YouTube know that the channel's really fun and you enjoyed yourself. So what are you waiting for? Thanks so much.